Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach, and you're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. We are moments away from kickoff, and we've got a good one on tap between the Carolina Panthers and the Los Angeles Chargers. With that, let's get out to Southern California with the call from Los Angeles. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the StubHub Center, 20 miles south of downtown L.A. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Carolina Panthers and the Los Angeles Chargers. Brandon Gaunt and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. They're led out by their big-bodied electric quarterback, Cam Newton. And when he's at the top of his game, you see that big smile? That's when you know everything is clicking. That means he's accurate throwing the football. They can't get him down in the run game. And his team is having a whole lot of fun. Because when they score a touchdown, some fans going to get lucky and get the game ball. Play fake here on first down. Oh, he's going to air it out. And got his man complete. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Carolina. Jarius Wright, 76 yards. And the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. Not a bad way to start it. And I think that that was part of their script because so many teams script their opening possessions. And, and whether it's just that possession or even deeper into the half, Sometimes it's 15 to 30 plays. That had to be one in there where they call a shot play. Go for the big one, and they got it done. Graham Gano on for the extra point. Extra point try, good by Gano. And that makes the score 7-0. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, long touchdown pass into the end zone. Cat and zero out now as he'll kick this one away. Now Austin Eckler on the return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback out of NC State. It's Phillip Rivers. One way you become the all-time leading passer for your team is pure talent, and Phillip Rivers has plenty of that. But it's also dedication to your craft and the willingness to get better all the time. Phillip Rivers has a van set up with a driver so that when he goes to and from practice, he's able to watch tape and find ways to improve his mechanics each and every day. So Rivers will lead the Chargers out first and 10 at their own 26. Play fake to Gordon. Now Rivers. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. 
And they worked this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 22. Defense gets up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. They go play action here on first down. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. They'll run. This is Melvin Gordon. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. And one of the guys to watch out for out of this group is the man on the outside, Keenan Allen. His versatility, able to play outside the numbers, come back inside to the slot. In any case, you've got to find ways to get him the ball. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And he's got a man open. That's Allen. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. The Charger first down. Rivers hooking up with Allen. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them, and now, I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone, because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. It makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. Play action now. Rivers. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Mario Addison. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Hey, set, 390, 390. From the gun, Rivers. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Thomas Davis. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will score. Touchdown, Panthers. We thought this defense would be opportunistic, and they were. Here, you're already up. Now you got a two-touchdown lead. I tell you, going out there on defense, did they have a little bit of extra momentum with the score already on the board? Oh, without a doubt. That already felt good to them. They took it and used it and obviously put up another one. But here's the thing now. Some defense coordinators might want to pull their guys back a little bit because they don't want them to make mistakes because they're too over-amped. Others say, I've got two-touchdown lead. Go get them, guys. They'll be even more aggressive. Gano now to add the extra point. Gano the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, 
but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Here's Eckler to return it. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Back to it after the pick six. Rivers. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Partner, your thoughts on this D-line? I love a unit that can control the run and get after the passer. This is an all-around terrific defensive front. Hard to move the ball against them on the ground, and then when you want to throw it, look out. Here they come after the quarterback. Second and 10 now from the 27. A second down throw for Rivers. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That one good for 13 and a charger first. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him even if he has an elite defender on him because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Play fake, Rivers. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. To throw again. Rivers got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback who has to slide and find open space to Tough throw. start offense. And that'll set him back five. Still third down. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the false start. Six. 
Rivers again. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And incomplete. A disappointing drop there defensively by the rookie. And now fourth down. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. So on fourth down, here's the veteran left-footed punter Donnie Jones to kick it away. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It yeah. was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. When we look at this unit like we are now, Greg Olson has become such a reliable target in this league. Loves to be considered the number one option in the passing game in the offense he plays, and he lives up to it. Knows the defense is set for him, knows how to beat them. Second and nine now from the 21. On second down, McCaffrey, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That'll go as a loss of five, and that'll force upon him a third and 14. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs, but the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Third and long, it's Newton. Got a man, it's right. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And that one results in 35 yards. We often, with Cam Newton, talk a lot about his legs. Don't forget about that arm. He can throw it on a rope. He can loft it. He's got the touch that's been developed throughout his career. But the big part about just watching him throw it, it seems almost effortless. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Time quickly to look at the Chargers defense. Jaleel Adai's versatility is a big plus for him. He can match up against the tall receivers. He can match up against the short, quick receivers. He can cover inside. He can cover outside. And as an added bonus, he tackles well, too. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Encroachment, defense. 
So a jump there defensively. That's a killer. Watch the football. Still third down. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Now the penalty, a big assist to this offense. Now it's third and three. A shotgun snap for Newton. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Newton to Olsen there for a Carolina first down. A pretty sizable deficit here in the first quarter. This defense probably need to get off the field in those situations on third down. And you and I both know in this huddle before that last third down play, that's exactly what they talked about. Let's make a play. Let's get off the field. Let's reverse the momentum. Instead, they got hit with another first down, almost back to the drawing board. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. Ball start, offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. McCaffrey following the penalty. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. They'll get four back there on the run, but now they're looking up at a third and 12 situation. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Throwing on third down, Newton. He'll hit Whitaker in the flat. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. At the end of one, 14 nothing is our score. We'll come back to Southern California after this. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gauden with you. It's the Panthers in possession of the football as we begin quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. And the first play will be a field goal try. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. Gano's kick is right through. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. 
These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. the made field goal cat and zero to boot this one away on the kickoff that'll be taken in the end zone and no run back here this will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25 yard line and now out on the field here comes los angeles and the results for them have not been strong to this point two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt so would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement because you had two, two drives with turnovers. <laughs> now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Six, three, nine, A first down throw here for Rivers. Henry's got it. Out on the left side. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. False start, offense. So that one will be accepted. Bad false start penalty there. Now second and six. Rivers. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, good defensive position, able to affect the play. On third down, Rivers. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. Here's Donnie Jones now as he'll kick it away for the second time. <laughs> Call that a 45-yard punt, just two yards there on the return. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. Getting set to go again here. Cam Newton marches back onto the field. He's played a pretty clean first half. A touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. And caught left side, Olsen. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. 
A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Let's give plenty of credit to the defense there. They stuffed them on second and short. But if you're the offense, why would you change what you're doing? You've got a whole other down to pick it up, and maybe even a fourth if you so choose. Now it's Newton here off the bootleg. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And brought down, but the juke, the very nice juke, gives him the first down yardage there. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. And when you have a guy in the backfield who can catch the football, you don't just use him strictly for check downs or dump offs. You make him part of the primary passing attack because what you're trying to do is get him into open field and then let him make people miss and advance the football. Newton will bring him up first and 10. And he's a perfect six for six here to start the ball game. They'll run it now out of the gun. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Play action. Newton. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. This one complete to Devin Funches. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. And room there to work it inside the 25. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Another run, this time McCaffrey. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. But he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much.
Now a play fake here on first down. Flushed out right. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. So an instance there of Cam being Cam. We know he can use his legs. And with that big body, it's hard to get him down, even if you get a clear shot on him. Plus, he moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. A first red zone opportunity for the Panthers thus far. They've got a first and 10 at the 11. Draw play as Newton gives to McCaffrey. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. They'll try the air now with Newton. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Illegal touching. Offense. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? The Panthers on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and eight. Out of the gun, Newton. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be getting rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This from 25 yards out. And Gano's kick is right through. And the lead now increases to 20 to nothing. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Ah, uh, you like Come that on. one? What does that mean, break out the, just because you break, you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. Now, after the made field goal, Cat and Zero to boot this one away on the kickoff. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Charger offense making their way back out there. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Set, 380. And Rivers now to throw on first down. Over the middle complete. It's Williams. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. On 
Jets. Second down. They'll run with Gordon. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a yard, and they're going to have a third down. There's another example of why they haven't scored any points so far. I think it's time to abandon the run game, spread things out, and go to the air. It certainly can't be any worse than what they've done so far. The Chargers on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Going underneath for Gordon. And certainly some style points there on the spin. Not a whole lot thereafter, but still a pretty good gain. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll be fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. Here's Donnie Jones now as he's on to punt for L.A. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. This is brought in at the 21. A minute 57 to go in this first half. We'll come back to Southern California after this. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Newton on first down. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Melvin Ingram in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. And now the Chargers are going to look up here and signal for a timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. McCaffrey and he got blown up on that play back at the 20 and now the Chargers are going to signal for another timeout so that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime the defense they got a little bit of a breather now they're back and set as we resume play So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. This is taken at the 15. 62 yards on the punt that time. Wow. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. 
Here now, a look at Melvin Gordon. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement down on the scoreboard. Maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? First and ten, Rivers. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Tyrell Williams was the intended target. And now it's second down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. On second down, Rivers again. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Williams. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. To throw is Rivers. And incomplete, a disappointing drop there defensively by the rookie. And now fourth down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Here's Donnie Jones now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Cam Newton getting ready to go again on offense. He's got to be feeling pretty good. Playing well. Team has the lead. So just looking to mount a drive here that ends in the end zone. And all quarterbacks will tell you, hey, we love a running game, helps us out. But at the end of the day, they want to rely on their arm, throw the football, feel good about things, keep things moving in the right direction. Right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. And we'll see if that continues. 30 seconds remain in this first half as they come up here first and 10. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we come upon halftime, intermission here with the visiting Panthers taking the lead to the locker room. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Here's Eckler to return it. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. 
Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their own 22. They'll start the third quarter on the ground with Gordon. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. This is Gordon as they go to him again. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. No gain on that run. And while this team is down, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe you just have to think about different style of running in order to get this guy going. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Gordon on first down. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. They'll try to throw here. Rivers over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pick up there of 20 yards. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Hey, ready. We need it. On the counter, here's Gordon. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. they got to just pin their ears back and get after him now. Three down, three down. Now movement up front. I think they're going to get one of the Charger linemen. False start. Offense. A false start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. Hey, hey. Set, 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 
Rivers to throw it. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Rivers from the gun on third down. And he fends him off. And that is incomplete. Yeah, very smart play right there. Pocket collapsing around him. Love the way he moved around a little bit and avoided the sack. The Chargers will bring out the field goal unit now. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that will move the deficit from 20 down to 17. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Panthers' offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Joey Bosa with the tackle for loss. How about that pedigree in his family? Yeah, some good pedigree. Tell us about it, Mr. Davis. Dad played in the NFL, first-round draft pick. Uncle was a first-round draft pick. He's got a brother coming behind him. But Joey Bosa, guy plays really, really hard. It plays all aspects on defense. The Panthers on third down. They've hit it 50%. Three of six to this point. This is third and 11. From the gun, here's Newton. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. First target, first catch, and a first down. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. They'll run with McCaffrey. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. 
In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. The Panthers on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and seven. From the gun, Newton. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. Here's Michael Pilardi now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at the 20. They'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. And he's going to be unable to get upfield as they take him down at the 21-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Second and nine now from the 21. They keep it on the ground again, Gordon. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now Rivers. This is Gordon on the dump off. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Give him two yards on that play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. Here's Donnie Jones now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. Fielded at the 20. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And possession will switch, hands first and 10. Carolina getting set to take the field. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tempt to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their 36-yard line. What 
They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's McCaffrey. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. To say they've kept him under wraps running the football, that, that's an understatement. He's been completely neutralized. Yeah, they've essentially taken him out of the game, haven't they? And you know all the teams say, we're not going to let him beat us. Well, that's exactly what's happened here. They've looked up to that. The Panthers on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third down and 12. The shotgun snap for Newton. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a gain of six on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. Back now at the StubHub Center in Carson. It's the Panthers out in front and in control of the football as well as we begin quarter number four. Here's Michael Pilardi now, as he's on to punt for Carolina. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. The Chargers getting set to go. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Single, single. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. A first down throw here for Rivers. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was trying to hit Melvin Gordon there. And that'll bring up second down. Well, touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. So line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. A second down throw for Rivers. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up a third down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. They'll throw again. Rivers. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, 
Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. They're going to run. This is Gordon. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. It's fourth and two, and you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage. So you have to be definite about your decision about where to go. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. First down, Rivers. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it and his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Well, you're trailing. It's the fourth quarter and you've got to throw the football. But the defense knows this too. So they're just going to sit back, bring in an extra defensive back or two, the old nickel or dime strategy, Brandon, and wait for you to put that bad boy up for grabs. And this one winds up being intercepted. Carolina getting set to take the field. They're out in front last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Now a run with McCaffrey. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Denzel Perryman there to bring him down. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football. But they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 12 yards there as they move the chains. And sometimes things come together exactly like you want. It's not just been the volume of carries he's had in this contest. It's been the production as well. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. This is McCaffrey. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one... He looked like one of those guys. To throw on second down is Newton. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And 15 yards there on the catch and run. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff. Didn't yeah, they? when we talked about him, they yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Check, 
on second down. Here's Newton. And caught left side, Olsen. And he gets it down to the 32. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? The Panthers on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be third and six. Newton now to throw. And Olsen over the middle. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Every time I see a coach challenge a spot, that makes me a little bit nervous for that coach. Those are very difficult to get overturned. Well, the biggest reason, correct me if I'm wrong, is just technology. A lot of times you just don't have the angle. Yeah, I think all the coaches, when they want to challenge that type of a play, they want to put the magnets or the things, the sensors in the ball to show exactly where it is. But right now, it's all about us humans. I'm sure as a coach, when you throw the flag, you hold your breath, then you get the verification you were right, a sigh of relief. Not only a sigh of relief, a little vindication as well, because every time you pull that red flag and throw it, you could be costing your team a timeout. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. And they'll run it here. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. To throw is Newton. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. 
And when you got your backs in the shadow of your goal line, you've got to be physical in that situation because there's not a whole lot of space, not a lot of wild plays that can be run there. That's put up or shut up time defensively. Nice job just to make sure they didn't complete it on that play. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards on the pickup, and that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football, and if you're going to throw it, Something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. On the ground, McCaffrey. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And Gano's kick is right through. And that will push this lead up to 20 now. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points. But this widens it out, as you said. And now it's all about ball control, isn't it? After the made field goal, Cat and Zero to boot this one away on the kickoff. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And out across midfield down to the 45. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gunn alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Rivers on first down. Wide open. It's Allen complete. Touchdown, L.A. Keenan Allen, 45 yards. And the Chargers, they're able to cut into that deficit. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, I agree with you totally on that one. Extra point attempt to come here. Extra point splits the uprights, and that cuts this lead down to 13. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone.
So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And the Panthers are going to recover here. And that should be enough to get them the victory. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. And now the Chargers are going to signal for another timeout. As they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. So a defensive timeout. Chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. And this one going to wrap up with Cam Newton going down to a knee. Well, as always, partner, an extreme pleasure to share a booth with you. I I, I have to say, I am impressed at your discipline because you came here and you said you were not going to eat any of the media buffet. <laughs> you made it to the end. You didn't consume a single calorie. I appreciate that. What you missed is me going to the concession stand outside of your eyesight and getting it, it done cheated. that way. Look, I mean, they were serving the good stuff. I had to do it. Oh, man, but you're, you're svelte in good shape, but yeah, you cheated a little bit. We'll let it slide. I appreciate that. Always a pleasure to work with you. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From Southern California, so long, everybody.